This video is on trigonometric graphs and transformations. So firstly, you need to be aware of what the sin, cos and tan graphs look like. Hopefully you're familiar with this already from GCSE. Now unfortunately you'll just have to memorise what these three graphs look like. There's no kind of other way around it. So let's start with the sin graph, which is y is equal to sin of x. And let's do it in the interval of 0 to 300. And 60. This here just means the interval, and it just means where you're doing the graph to and from. So let's start from zero, and the sin graph curves like this up to one at 90 degrees, and then it comes back down to zero at 180 degrees, like this. Now let's go from 180 degrees to 360 degrees and this is the exact same thing but it's in the opposite side of the axis. So it curves down this time to a minimum at minus 1 at 270 degrees and then it goes back up to 360 degrees at 0. And that is what the sin graph looks like. The most common mistake I always make with drawing trigonometric graphs is where the specific points go with respect to 90 and 180, etc. Just remember that it hits 1 at 90 degrees, so it hits 1 up here at 90 degrees, and then it hits 0 again at 180 degrees. And that's all you need to remember, because after that, the graph just repeats itself every... 360 degrees. This is something that's called periodicity. I don't really think you need to know that. It, like Definitions aren't really that important. A-level maths. But basically this makes it really easy because you only need to remember the 0 to 360 degrees because after that it's just a copy and paste. So what you can do is it just literally copy and paste so it goes up to 1 here then goes down to zero here and then goes back down to minus one at the next bit and then up to zero at 720 and that's it and what you might notice is that the key features of the graph are also repeated along with the 360 degrees so every 360 degrees so if you notice it equals 1 at 90 degrees and then 360 degrees later at 450 degrees it equals minus 1 at 270 degrees and 360 degrees later at 630 and for zero it doesn't quite work like that because there are two zeros for every 360 degrees so it repeats every 180 degrees instead so 0 180 degrees 360 540 720 and that's how it works and if we need to sketch negative degrees, so three, minus 360 degrees to 0 degrees, it's the exact same thing, but it follows the line and occurs on the opposite side of the axis. So it comes down like this to minus 1 at 90, then comes back at 0 at 180, then goes up at 1 to 270, and then back down at 0 at 360 degrees. And the 360 periodicity still follows with the key features, it's just minus this time. So it's 1 at 90 degrees, and then it's, um, it's 1 again at 90 minus 360 degrees, which is 270, and then it's the same with the minus 1s and the zeros as well. And you can actually see that the repeating at 360 degrees still occurs, as this is just a copy and paste of this. It's still just repeating at 360 degrees. Now let's do the cos graph, y is equal to cos of x, and let's do it in the same interval as before, 0 to 360. So it starts, it looks... Now let's do the cos graph, y is equal to cos of x, and this we'll do in the same interval between 0 and 360. Now it looks somewhat similar to a sin graph, but it starts at 1 at 0 degrees, and it goes down to 0 at 90 degrees, and then it goes down to minus 1 at 180, and then it goes 
back up to zero at 270 degrees and then it goes up to one at 360 degrees. Like the sin graph, the cos graph repeats every 360 degrees which makes it very easy to draw um, over the next degree to the point where you don't need to remember like, the whole cos, cos graph you just need to remember the 0 to 360 degrees because it's just a copy and paste it goes down from 1 to 450 then down to minus 1 to 540 and then back up to 0 at 630 and then it goes up again to 1 at 720 and when you expand it to this interval you can quite easily see that it is actually just a sin graph just shifted to the left by 90 degrees and if you need to sketch negative degrees you just follow the line here which actually happens to be a mirror in the y-axis so it starts from here just follow the line it goes down to 0 at 90 degrees and then it goes down to, 100, uh, to minus 1 180 degrees and then back up to 0 at 270 degrees and then up to 1 at 360 degrees and you can see again the repeating every 360 degrees as it's just a copy and paste over that 360 degree period now let's do the tan graph y is equal to tan of x and let's do it in the same interval as we keep doing from 0 to 360 now the tan graph looks very different to the sin and cos graph we just have to remember its shape I'm afraid let's go from 0 to 90 first it starts at 0 at 0 degrees and then it goes continuously up like this and then it starts to curve and it goes continuously up like this but the important thing is that this kind of imaginary line here this imaginary line here it never touches and it never actually crosses this is uh, at x is equal to 90 degrees it is an asymptote now we talked about what an asymptote is in the reciprocal graphs video in the graphs and transformations set of videos quickly an asymptote is a line a graph approaches so it approaches it but it never actually touches it a more in-depth discussion is in the reciprocal graphs video if you want to go to that there is no value as you might um, already know for tan 90 if you put it into your calculator it gives an error and the reason is because the graph doesn't cross it the graph doesn't cross 90 degrees and this is what uh, it looked like looks like now in the book it draws in the asymptotes with a dotted line like this I don't think it's the end of the world if you don't draw them in I don't think you'll lose marks I've never really drawn them in to be honest but as the book does it, it draws in these dotted lines I'll do it as well now for 90 to 180 degrees it's the exact same thing it's just in the opposite direction to before and on the other side of the axis it starts from the asymptote still at 90 and it goes like this and then it starts to curve and it meets zero at 180 and this is an asymptote to 90 degrees again and then the tan graph is just an exact repeat of itself with the um, sin and the cos graph it repeats every 360 degrees with the tan graph it repeats every 180 degrees instead so we just repeat this so it goes up from zero and it goes up continuously like this there is an asymptote here this time at 270 and then it starts from down here and then goes up to zero and then that is just the tan graph this time with an asymptote at 270 degrees so really quick as I've already touched on if you want to if you need to draw the tan graph over further intervals you can just repeat it from the 180 degrees as it repeats every 180 degrees so to do that start from zero and it goes up like this and there's an asymptote there and then it goes down from here up sorry up to zero and then it repeats itself again going up like this and then going to zero like that 
there's an asymptote here and an asymptote here. So really quick, if it's negative degrees, it works the same way, it's just in the opposite direction. So follow the line, it starts from zero and goes down like this, with an asymptote here, and then it comes down from up here to meet zero, and then it comes down from zero like this, with an asymptote being here, and it comes down from here to go to zero here. Um, and again, the most common mistake I always make with drawing true graphs is kind of how wide or thin they should be. Remember, these lines here are 180 degrees wide, and this kind of small segment here is 90 degrees. So just remember that.